Barrier Tape Policy. Purpose. This policy is intended to increase visual awareness and to protect personnel from personal injury by providing a warning barrier to potential or known safety hazards and restrict personnel access to these areas. Scope. This policy applies to the use of a barrier tape by PLOS Incorporated employees and its contractors who discover, create, or work in any area which may potentially contain or have known safety hazard to themselves or other personnel. Definitions. A. Barrier tape. Visual plastic or cloth tape used as a temporary boundary that is placed to warn persons of a potential safety hazard or known safety hazard and to restrict access to the hazardous area. Barrier tag. Visual tag that is attached to the barrier tape that identifies the type of hazard, date installed, installing person, and contact information. Tags should be placed on the safe side of the barrier tape. Radiation tape. Plastic or cloth tape used as a temporary boundary that identifies the perimeter of the radiation hazard. Radiation warning signage. Visual sign attached to the radiation tape that identifies the enclosed area containing a radiation hazard. Signs shall be placed on the safe side of the radiation tape. Watchman flagman. An attendant whose sole responsibility is to supervise the barrier tape boundary or during short duration tasks where no barrier tape boundary is used to monitor the immediate work area in order to prevent unauthorized entry and minimize exposure of others to the hazard. Policy. A barrier tape shall be used to warn individuals where there is a potential for a hazardous condition or where there is a known hazard. Yellow or red barrier tape will be used to visually identify safety hazards. Radiation tape shall be used to visually identify radiation hazards. Employees and contractors are expected to understand the significance of the barrier tape color and the precautions to follow before crossing the barrier tape and entering the hazardous area. Barrier tape is not a substitute for correcting the hazard. Application. The barrier tape is applicable for identifying potential hazards and known hazards such as, but not limited to, the following. Open process, confined spaces, cutting, arc gouging, welding and grinding activities, working overhead, handling overhead loads and materials, pressure and hydro testing, radiographic examination, scaffold erection, demolition activities. Procedure. Yellow caution tape will be utilized to warn employees of where potential hazards exist. Employees can enter this area if there is a business purpose and are informed of the potential hazards. Red, danger, do not enter tape will be utilized to warn employees that there are known hazards or dangerous conditions, provide restricted access to the area, or where special precautions are necessary. Only those employees with a clear business need shall be allowed to enter the area and granted permission of the person that signed the barrier tags or his designated representative. Employees entering this area shall be informed about the hazards and what protective measures to follow. Yellow magenta caution radiation area tape will be utilized to warn employees that there is a radiation hazard or where radiation materials are present. The radiographic examination crew shall identify and establish a safe work distance for the boundary. No one will be allowed to enter the taped off area unless they have been trained in radiation safety. No one can remove the radiation tape except the person responsible for installing the tape or his designated representative. Refer to the contractor's radiation safety policy details on establishing the safe work distance. D. Entering the barrier area shall be avoided unless there is a business purpose to do so. If the barrier is blocking a thoroughfare, find another way around. If you need to access the area that has been cordoned off, call the contact on the barrier tag. E. An evaluation of the work conditions inside the barrier sh shall be performed before beginning work to ensure proper hazard recognition, protection methods and equipment, and worker communication. F. Installing barricade tape. Number one, use the proper color of barrier tape to enclose the area of the identified hazard or condition. Only one color of tape for each area, even though there may be different types of hazards. Use a barrier tape color for the most serious or critical hazard. Two, the barrier tape must be completely, must completely surround the hazardous area on all sides. Coverage shall provide a 360 degree barrier. Stairway ladder and elevator entrances into and out of the barrier area shall be also included. Tape shall be placed far enough away from the hazard to adequately protect those outside the barrier area. The tape shall be placed and maintained between 39 and 48 inches above the grade. 
Stable supports may be needed for tie-off points and to maintain the appropriate tape height over the run of the tape. Should not sag. When overhead work, handling overhead loads of materials, potential for falling objects, or work causing falling debris, the area shall be identified with red barrier tape. G. Barricade tags and signs. Tags or signs shall be clearly visible and placed on all approach points and intervals not greater than 50 feet along the run of tape. This includes stairway and ladder and elevator entrances. If possible, detour signs should be posted before personnel get to the barrier. Tags shall be eligible and marked with a permanent waterproof marker. Tags shall state the reason for the barrier, identify the caution or hazard. Tags shall be dated, effective date of installations. Tags will be signed by the person installing the tape and contact information. Tags shall be checked and updated daily to retain area control. H, a watchman, flagman should be considered when the barrier tape is used in congested work areas, working overhead and handling overhead loads of materials. When the barrier will interfere with regular personnel or ve vehicular thoroughfare or access to the facility, equipment coordinate the barrier with the facility safety coordinator. All barrier tape should be removed as soon as the hazard is corrected or the task is completed. The removal of the tape must be done only by the person who installed the barrier or his designated representative. Remove all tape and tags, especially tie-off points. Properly discard the waste materials. Do not reuse damaged tape sections. If the hazard associated with the barrier still exists at the end of the workday, the tape shall remain in place. Notify the facility safety coordinator and area operations personnel of the continued hazard exposure. When the barrier tags and tags will remain in place, they shall be inspected daily for damage and deterioration and subsequently replaced. Barrier tape is not to be used to guard open-sided floors, floor openings, holes, excavations, or platforms and runways four feet or more above the adjacent floor. Should questions arise as how an area should be cordoned off, contact the facility safety coordinator. A watchman flagman may be used in lieu of barrier tape for short duration tasks. This requires agreement between the plaw sink and the safety and the facility safety coordinator. The attendant shall be able to communicate to others and is authorized to stop others from entering a hazardous area. Plastic yellow safety chain shall not be used to mark the perimeter boundary of an area containing a safety hazard. 